Today I'm out at McDowell Creek County Park. Yeah, this is in Oregon. I've got like three waterfalls that I'm going to try to shoot today depending on what the sun's going to do. And hopefully all of them are going to be in the shade. But I want to get a little closer to kind of fill the frame uh, with the waterfall. So let's take a look and let get set up and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm waiting for the sun. It's the trees up there. The sun's going to move behind in probably about five or ten minutes. So I'm just going to kind of hang out here and wait for that because I've got a really bad hot spot in my foreground, which is going to kind of take away from the waterfall. I don't want that. So again, I'm just waiting for the light to get to where I want it, and then I'm going to grab some more shots. I've dialed it all in already, and again, just like typical settings, started at f11. I had to go to f16 because I'm at 50 millimeters. So my depth of field is a little bit less than it would be if I was wide at 16 millimeters or so. So at f16, I've got everything sharp. Uh, I then it's dialing in my shutter speed to get the look of the water that I want. And I'm at about a third of a second. And then uh, I'm using my ISO just to, to basically get my exposure right now that I've got my water flow uh, in my depth of field. I'm going to use that ISO just to balance it out. And I'm going to underexpose just probably a little bit to make sure that I don't get those highlights blown out. Okay, so you can definitely see those hot spots. And, you know, I've got some nice sunbeams coming through, but um, those hot spots on the water are definitely just, oh, they're just way, way, way too bright compared to the waterfalls in the back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some shots so that I can maybe pull in and in post, I'll be able to pull in a little bit of that mist and that it's being backlit by the sun, which is kind of cool. I definitely like that a lot. So that mist that's coming up looks really, really nice. And the sun's just a few minutes from getting behind this big tree, which I think is gonna, fingers crossed, is gonna actually uh, kind of kill that really harsh light that's hitting, uh, streaking across the front of my frame. I might be able to crop some of it out, but I don't want to because I really like the flow of that water as it kind of you know comes toward me so i don't want to just have the waterfall i need again a leading line to help make the composition really work so here are the shots from majestic falls I'll show them to you right now So now, just to give you an idea, I am in the middle of this stream, and it doesn't look too precarious, but the problem is uh, I'm using the, the tripods as kind of like a uh, walking stick or depth probe because it's impossible to tell how deep or shallow every single step I take is. And I definitely don't want to take a step that I'm going to sink up to my thigh or up to my knee in and possibly fall with all of my gear. So... Uh, I'm going really slow, and um, we're going to head to the next waterfall. I think it's called Royal, but don't quote me on that. I'll let you know when we get there. It's just a little bit down the trail the other way. So these help a bit when you're... You can use them for ice. These aren't uh, the ones that have the actual teeth in it. They just have a wire around it. But it definitely makes a difference when you're in the water on a, in a stream and it's just slippery and with you're stepping on rocks and stuff. This gives you a little bit more traction, which is exactly what I needed when I was out there waiting so that I would not uh, fall in and destroy all my stuff. So this is Majestic Falls. That other place wasn't. <laughs> that was, I think it was Crown Falls. If not, I'll put the name of it right up here. The one that we just 
I just shot. So the water out here is a lot deeper. So right out here, right in there, it's about chest deep. That's a lot of flow. And um, it's just, there's really no way to get out there. There's just too much water. Uh, so I'm going to move up a little bit. Let me show you the falls kind of in a better angle here. Also, a problem I've got, a slight problem, is this hot spot up at the very top of the falls. I'm going to have to watch out for that. But uh, I'd like to get some of these ferns and maybe some of these moss-covered rocks as a framing element that you see over here. But you notice how bright it is on the video. On this side, I've got to make sure I try to leave that out. That's just way overpowering everything that's awesome happening over here. All right, I found a composition. It's unbelievably difficult to have two tripods set up on a rock that's not remotely level or big enough with water flowing all over the place. Oh, it's, it's a lot of, uh, it's hard. So, the sun's starting to hit the top of the falls. I've already taken a few shots. I gotta get the photo before I do the video. So even in the video, you can see that it's just really, really hot at the top of the waterfalls, like insanely bright. Um, and I've been waiting and it's, uh, I think it'll get a little bit better. So I'm probably just gonna wait uh, and hopefully the sun is gonna move so that the very top of those waterfalls are not gonna be just totally killing. So here's my composition. Let me brighten it up so you can see it. There we go. So the light is getting better. It's pulling off the top of the falls and it's pulling off of the left-hand side over here. Uh, it's gonna allow me to do a horizontal and center the falls a little bit better. I think the composition is gonna be, it's gonna work better for sure. So just in case I am bracketing my photos, so that I can make sure that that highlight, those really brighter areas on the left side of the falls are not gonna be ugly when I get it back on the computer. I don't mind if it's a little brighter and it's a, it's a diffused light, but if it's direct sun, it's pretty bad. Great news is the sun's moving in the right direction behind trees, so I need to grab a few photos very, very quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the next waterfall. This is Royal Terrace Falls. And I did get this one right. Uh, the sun is just, and not the worst place, but one of the worst places. It's right up there. So I'm just waiting again for the sun uh, on a, what was supposed to have been a very uh, overcast or at least cloudy day. And uh, there's nothing. And the sun is uh, just, it's, you just can't shoot it right now. I think. Once the sun goes behind these trees, back over here, that it's going to pull some of it off the waterfall. And it'll work better. The problem right now with the sun is, it's just, you see this glare, it's happening down here, it's unphotographable, it's awful. It's no way to make that work at all. No matter what filters you use, no matter what you do, that is going to be awful. And also, the hot spots up at the top on that, that first drop up here, no matter what you do, it's going to be blown out and awful. So take a look at this. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Basically, it's the same falls. It's just, I came up the trail, up the falls, and you can shoot right underneath it. It's pretty epic. It's really kind of cool here. Um, the sun is almost where I need it to be, uh, and I'm gonna move out a little bit more in front of the falls without falling off the falls, because that would be really bad. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's fantastic. So this is what you get when you kind of explore, look around, and, and, and not just go for the obvious shot. 
So I was tired of waiting down there uh, for the sun to move. And I said, well, let me just walk up the falls a little bit and see what I can find. And as I walked up, there were a couple of paths that led off at different spots that allowed you to see, you know, get a little bit closer to the side view of the falls. But then I get all the way up to the top tier and there's a path that leads right here to the base of it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I'm gonna set up in just a minute when the sun I think is, is, is hopefully, fingers crossed, is gonna get out of the way a little bit more to allow me to get more of a front on shot instead of a side. But this is gonna be cool. So this looks really great, but it's still too hot at the very, very top of the falls. Uh, I mean, it's totally blown out. Ah, so I'm gonna uh, wait just a little bit longer. The sun is its actually getting better as I speak, but second by second. So it's all about waiting, having that patience and the time Wait for the light to get as good as it can possibly be before you take your photograph. And the wind is just whipping that spray off, so I'm having to wipe my lens in between every shot. I love being really close to these falls. It's really awesome. It's also really not awesome because it's cold. It's like nature's air conditioning, right? And then the spray is just, it's a lot. Okay, so I didn't film anything back at Royal Terrace on the bridge simply because the, uh, the light wasn't that great still. I think I waited too long. So I'll have to come back because I definitely think, I mean, it's, it, it's a good shot, but a cloudy overcast day would make it where you wouldn't have to rush or worry about it. So definitely come back and check this out. Here are my final shots of the day. Love to hear your comments, what you think. If you liked it, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps my channel grow. And we'll see you next time.